All right, so to get started, we are going to do a magic circle. And then we are going to crochet six single crochets into our magic circle. All right, and um, before I pull this closed, I always uh, just do for round two, we're gonna do two single crochets into each stitch around. So before I pull that shut, I always do my first two single crochets in that first stitch before I pull it. So one, two, okay? And then I pull this tight, because sometimes it's just hard to find that first stitch there. Okay, so we have two single crochets. So in the next five single crochets, I'm gonna do two single crochets into each stitch. So three, four, All right, now I'm gonna place a stitch marker in that last single crochet that we just did. Now for row number three, we are going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch. So one single crochet and then two, or an increase. So one single crochet and then an increase into the next stitch. One single crochet and then another increase. Alright, so there's one single crochet. I'm going to take out our stitch marker before I do my increase into that last stitch there. So, increase. Alright. And then I'm going to replace the stitch marker again into that last single crochet. Alright, now for the next row, we are going to sing one single crochet into the next two stitches. So, one, two. And then we're going to do an increase. And then single crochet into the next two stitches, one, two, and then another increase. And we're going to repeat this until we get back to our stitch marker there. All right, before I do that increase, I'm gonna take this out. And then again, replace it into that last stitch. All right, so now for the next row, we are going to do increase, or um, I'm sorry, single crochet into the next three stitches, and then we are going to increase. So one single crochet into the three stitches, and now we're increase. And then we have one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase. All right, take out this stitch marker before we increase. Okay, so now for um, this octopus, I am going to be adding a headband and a bow that is gonna be in a different color. So for this round, I am going to cut off my yarn and attach my new color. Okay, so uh, this is how I change my color of yarn. You can do it this way, or there are several different ways that people do this. This is what I have found to like the best. So I'm gonna cut off the yarn, pull it through. I'm going to pull the yarn through my next single crochet there. Now with the new color, which is green for this pattern, I am going to begin with a slip knot. And then I am going to put that in the same stitch that we pulled the purple yarn through. So I'm gonna stick that right in there. 
and I'm going to do a single crochet. So now I'm going to do single crochet all the way around into each stitch, which will be 30 stitches. So there's one, two, Seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty, and then I am going to slip stitch to this very first single crochet, and that is my headband. So again, all right. So after I completed that, I cut off my yarn here, and like we did with the purple yarn, I'm going to insert my hook into that next single crochet, and I'm going to pull this yarn through. Now I'm going to take my purple yarn and do the same thing. I'm going to do a slip knot, Oops. and I'm going to insert into that same uh, single crochet that I just pulled the green yarn through, and I'm going to do a single crochet, and now working around, we're going to do 30 single crochets. All right, and then we are going to single crochet into that first stitch and we are going to continue around. We will do this until we reach row 16 and then onto row 17, we will start decreasing. So I have completed all 16 rows. I'm gonna pull up some yarn there because uh, right now we are going to insert our safety eyes. So I'm gonna insert the eyes between rows 12 and 13. I am using 10 millimeter uh, safety eyes. I got them in a pack off of Amazon, very reasonably priced, and they are in good quality too. Okay, and then to insert my second eye, I am going to do it four stitches between them. Now uh, flip this inside out and we will add the backs. Okay, so there they are. Now I'm going to insert my stitch marker because now we are going to start decreasing from here until we reach the very end. I can get that on. Okay, so now we are going to single crochet in the next three stitches. And now we're going to decrease. And I do the invisible decrease. So you insert your hook into the front loop of the first stitch and then the front loop of the second stitch, you're gonna pull through the yarn through the two front stitches and then yarn over and pull through the two loops left on your hook. Then single crochet into the next three. And then we're going to decrease again. So front loop, front loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And then single crochet in the next three. And then again, we will decrease. All right, and then we have two stitches left, so I'm going to remove my stitch marker so that doesn't get in the way to do our final, 
two together, decrease, and then add this into that last stitch. All right, now for this row, we're going to do two single crochet, and then decrease, and we are going to do this around until we reach our stitch marker. We are going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet two together. And we are actually going to complete this pattern for two rows. And then at the end of that second row, we will have eight stitches. So I'll meet you back here. So I have really stuffed my octopus head. This is, um, as much as I'm gonna stuff it right now, I'm gonna do that last row of, I'm gonna insert my stitch marker and then I'm gonna do one single crochet and then two together all the way around. And once you put that stuffing in there, it gets a little bit tighter, but if you wait until the last round to do it, your stuffing is really hard to get into that hole. And if you could see, I did already have to fight the hole that it was, um, but it's worth it doing it at that round instead of waiting for one more round. Okay, and at this point, if you want more stuffing in your head, you can put it in there. But now we are going to continue on to the tentacles. So right now we have eight stitches around and an octopus has eight legs. So we are going to right here, so we just finished our single crochet two together. I'm going to chain 40. Okay, and then in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet two into two single, I'm sorry, put two single crochets into each chain until we get to our base.
So um, I just completed two single crochets into each stitch. Now what we're going to do is, as you see here, we were working off of this single crochet from that last round. So what we're going to do is in the next single crochet we are going to slip stitch. Oops. Let me do that again. Slip stitch and then again we are going to chain 40 and then down this other tentacle we are going to single crochet two into each stitch. Okay, so I'm just finishing up my last tentacle here. It's really important to make sure that they are all very straight and they don't get twisted up. But you can make sure that that doesn't happen right when you get down to the last couple of them. Okay, so here is the last one. And then now while we do to finish this up, we just make a slip stitch into the next stitch and then we will cut our yarn and pull this through and then I always add just a little bit more stuffing Mama. here. Alright, so just really stuff that Mama. in there. Mama. Okay, so now that that's done, we will just take this piece of yarn and we will close up this hole with a needle. Okay, so now I have my needle attached, just using one of these, and I just grab any part of this. And I just go in and out and if you can see once we pull the yarn tight I'm gonna go side to side now a few times but once we pull the yarn tight there is no longer a hole okay so I'm pretty satisfied with that we can't see the hole at all so now what I do to get rid of this is I'm just gonna weave it up through the octopus head a few times. Oops. All 
All right, so we're going to continue weaving this through the head a few times. All right, and then now just pull it tight and cut it and then it disappears into the head. So here is what we have so far. Now, uh, real quick, I'm gonna make a bow to go on the headband. To make the bow, we are going to, again, do a magic circle. And then chain three. And then we're going to work three double crochets into the magic circle. So one, or I'm, yeah, double crochets. Two, three. And then we're going to chain two. We will slip stitch into the magic circle. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, oops, three. And then let's work three more double crochets into the circle. So we have one, two, three, we will chain two, and then do another slip stitch. Now we will pull tight, and here is our bow. To finish off this bow, first I'm going to take this yarn and pull it to the back, and then I'm going to wrap this around. Oops, sorry, let's go this way. So, I like to wrap it around two times, and then I take the hook and pull it through, and then, oops, I am a mess right now. And then we're going to cut off the yarn, pull it through, and then at this stage, I like to, again, uh, wrap it around a few more times, and then I just tie a knot. So I like to make a second knot. All right, and there is our bow. So I just am going to attach it on here like that. But um, before I do that, I am going to make the smile. Okay, so to attach the smile, I like to do it off to the side, the yarn. I'm gonna go into the hole that I want my smile to start in. And I'm just using regular yarn. Um, you can use embroidery uh, thread or regular crochet thread. It doesn't really matter, but I like my smile to be a little bit thicker than the thread. Okay, so I want my smile to be there and here. So I'm gonna go in here, but then I'm going to just go out of this hole over here. Okay, so you wanna leave enough to where it can swoop down now i'm going to bring my needle up through this this hole here okay now i'm just going to get some of this uh, let me pull this a little bit tighter i'm going to just put my needle into there and then i'm going to go back in the same Hole. I'm going to then bring it out at the bottom here. So if you can see, that holds it into place. So I'm going to do the same thing. And I'll go back through the same one. And I'm going to come out over here. Oops. Put that stuffing back in there. Okay, so grab a hold of this and go out over here. Okay, so there we go. And then one last time. Right here, go back in, and then I'm gonna come out the same hole that we started in. Okay, and then from here, we can fix this just a little bit. Loosen that one up. All right, so there is our smile. Now, with these two threads, 
I just tie a knot. I cut them short and then I just stuff it into the head. That way for any reason, if it does come undone, it's not gonna come all the way loose. All right, so there is my smile. Now uh, let's connect our bow. Okay, to connect the bow, oops, put it about where you would like it to be positioned. So I like it here. And I'm gonna go into where the green yarn was on the headband. Oops. I didn't really leave enough yarn here to play with very much. So just for yours, make sure that you maybe leave some more yarn. So then I'm going to go through here and then also attach it down here to keep it in place. And then one more time. And then I'm just gonna go through the bottom and out the top. And then if you pull tight, you will see that this is anchored down. Now for the other strand, we will do the same thing on the other side. Grab a little bit of yarn. Actually, let's do this opposite this time. Oh no. Grabbed our yarn. Put it through there. Okay, go through this last part and come up the same hole that our first string is coming out of. Pull tight. And really quick, I just don't, I'm not very satisfied with how this looks right here. So to fix that, I'm just gonna bring my needle through this. And then I'm just gonna go through this hole and let's go out this hole. Okay, and then to finish this off, you are just going to tie a knot and then again, just push the ends into the octopus. Here is our end product. So there's the bow up there and we got our eyes, the smile, here's the back of it. And after time, this is gonna break down and uh, this won't all be showing as much. And that's because I really stuffed them because they do, the stuffing does break down pretty quickly. So yeah. Here, here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep crocheting.